Uh, obviously, you know, for every coach of these six teams, it's it's a different challenge, you know, uh, to uh, obviously monitor your players and see exactly where they're at, you know, what rhythm they have, you know, and that plays all a role, you know, into putting your roster then together. Um, and and uh, you have similar challenges, you know, similar challenges with Honduras has with their European players coming in, the same with our European players coming in and traveling a lot, you know, and, and uh, um, therefore I think every coach just approaches it the same way in terms of he's going to make the best out of it, no matter what the situation is. Um, three days preparation, is, as, uh, um, as mentioned before, is, is difficult, but so it is for every coach, you know. And then the next games will be double headers, you know, it's, a, it's going to be a different again. So again, back to what I said before, you just adjust and you make the best out of it. La pregunta fue el señor, ¿crees que los seis equipos que están en esta clasificatoria están todos al mismo nivel? La respuesta fue, es un reto obviamente para todos los entrenadores iguales los seis equipos. Para los jugadores también es un reto. Acuérdense que hay jugadores que viajan desde Europa en todos los equipos y eso es un reto. Tres días de preparación por lo general no son suficientes, pero uno tiene que hacer lo que puede hacer con el corto tiempo que, que hay. Es una situación difícil para todos. Uh, this is for Michael. Um, in the run-up to this game, there's been a lot made uh, about security and safety concerns specific to San Pedro Sula. I was wondering, does that affect you at all as a player? And uh, have you, in your experience, had uh, or noticed anything unique about this particular city in that regard? No, it doesn't affect us at all. Um, you know, as players, we're very lucky. Um, you know, between U.S. soccer, between the, the American government, we we always get taken care of very well. And so, you know, really, from the time that we get here until the time that we leave, all that all that's left up to us is to, is to step on the field and, and give the best possible performance. So, in all those ways, we, we're happy to be here. We feel, you know, safe, secure, and, and are, are looking forward to, uh, to a great game. La pregunta fue a Michael, ¿te afecta la seguridad aquí en Honduras y notas algo especial de la seguridad en San Pedro Sula? La respuesta de Michael fue, no, la seguridad no nos afecta. La Federación de Estados Unidos, US Soccer, el gobierno americano eh, nos cuida, hay mucha preocupación con nosotros y no ha habido ningún problema. Nosotros simplemente venimos a jugar y la seguridad ni la sentimos ni nos afecta. Venimos aquí a jugar un partido. Francisco Ferreira, San Pedro Sula. Para Michael, hay mucho... ¿Hay mucho cambio en este equipo al que manejaba tu padre en relación a la forma de juego? Y para el profesor Klisman, el hecho de convocar 17 jugadores que juegan en el extranjero, ¿es más fácil manejar un grupo que juega en el extranjero a los que juegan en la MLS? For Michael, do you notice many changes uh, from the previous coaching staff and this coaching staff, now that you've been playing with both? And for Jorgen, is there a way, a different way that you coach the players coming from Europe? Then you coach the players in the MLS, for example? It's only normal that when a new coach comes in that there's going to be new ideas and new, um, new ways of doing things. And I think really from the, from the first day that, that Jurgen came, um, there's been a lot of excitement on, on the side of the players. You know, excitement to, to listen, to learn, to understand um, the way th that he wanted to do things. And I think as always in, in any team, there's a period where, um, you know, he's trying to watch and to learn and to understand who the players are that he can count on. And at the same time, we're trying to, to pay attention to him and pay attention to, to understand what he wants. And I think every day as we continue to grow as a team, as we continue to improve, that this, this understanding becomes, becomes better and better. And now as we as we get to this final stretch before the World Cup, I think um, every person inside of our group feels very good about the progress that we're making, and, and um, you know, there's a lot of confidence in ourselves as we move forward. La respuesta, Michael, fue, es normal que haya nuevas ideas y cambios cuando llega un director técnico nuevo a un equipo. Estamos como jugadores todos muy contentos de jugar con este, este staff de entrenadores y con Jordan Klinsman. Como entrenador, él nos observa y nos estudia. Y nosotros como jugadores hacemos todo lo posible para aprender lo máximo que podamos aprender de él y del resto de los, de los entrenadores. Queremos mejorar nuestro nivel como jugadores con Jorgen 